So why is product strategy so important? Why is it that you should be taking this course? Iconic technology companies, when we think about Apple, you can point to half a dozen products that really drove the growth of these companies. The Macintosh, the iPhone, the iPod, the iPad. So summary is that products are the foundation and the lifeblood of growth and innovation for a company. So that is why we need to bring focus. We need to centralize the ownership and the responsibility for products in your company, in an organization, and with a strategy that is focused on products. Because if you don't do this, what do you get? Or what you don't, don't get? What you get is no clear ownership of product. The other problem that you see if you don't have product strategy is there is no clear advocate for the customer inside the organization. Who's going to represent the customer? Who's going to advocate for the customer? Who's going to say, but what would the customer think? Without clear ownership, you don't get that. You also don't get a single orchestrator. What the customer gets if you have clear orchestration is a consistent and a seamless and a delightful product experience. You also are likely to lose alignment between your corporate strategy and your product line. This is what we call strategy drift. That over time, your company wants to do something, but your products are not consistent with where you want to take the company. On the other hand, if you do have a good product strategy, what do you get? You get a clear product vision. You also get advocacy from the customer standpoint. You also get a strong alignment or fit between the product and the market. You get better collaboration across functions and across silos so that engineering and marketing and sales and finance and supply chain and manufacturing are all on the same page. And if you do all this well, what you're going to do or what you're going to get is growth and innovation. So the next question is, who needs product strategy? I would actually say, who doesn't? So at the very core, product strategy is absolutely critical for the technology industry. The second layer is industrial companies, B2B companies. I was mentioning DuPont, you know, but if you think about GE, if you think about Siemens, if you think about, you know, uh, large industrial companies, John Deere, Caterpillar, they also need product strategy. The third layer of the onion is, is companies that you wouldn't think of as technology companies, but they're still technology intensive companies. You'd be surprised at how many thousands of software professionals there are at Allstate Insurance. Allstate is a technology company, it happens to be in the insurance business. Save is so is JP Morgan Chase as a bank, but they're really a financial technology company. I hope you now understand why this course is relevant for a very wide variety of business professionals. So I hope you see the importance of a powerful and strong product strategy, because without this, you will not be aligned, you will not be focused, you will not be customer-centric, and you won't grow.